Hi guys, uh, today I have a, a workout for you to do using some of the stuff you have around your house. Uh, for me today I'm going to use resistance tubing. If you have one, it'd be great. Also gonna, I'm also going to use uh, a loop resistance band. Now if you have one of these bands that are uh, not looped, those are good too. I don't have one, but if you have one, that's great. Also, I'm also going to use my eight pound medicine ball. I also have a larger ball, but actually way brighter. This is a six pound medicine ball. And for those of you who don't have dumbbells or resistance bands, maybe something like this might work. This is a one gallon jug of water, and a gallon of water weighs about eight pounds. So that you have eight pounds of resistance. And I'll show you some ways you might be able to use this. All right, so let's get started. First exercise I want to do is for the, the squats. So I'm going to show you a couple of versions. The first version is just body weight. So I'm going to put my feet about hip shoulder with the bar. And I'm just going to squat. Now I'm going to squat slowly. Keep my chest up. So I'm slowly squatting down. I'm coming up a little more explosively. So you can do maybe a four count here. Come up on a one count. All right, now a modified version, a little harder version actually. I'm going to use my, my loop resistance band. And what I'm going to do is put it around just above my knee, right here. So I'm going to do the same thing, but I'll get shoulder width apart. I would say, actually, for this one, definitely be at least shoulder width apart. That way you're going to feel it as you come down. The same kind of motion. I'm going to my sofa back a little bit. So what this is doing is working your gluteus medius a little more. Same way. So that's how you do that. Now, you're going to go over progression. You're going to take your weight. I'm going to use the 8 pound medicine ball. I'm just going to hold it right underneath my chin. And I'm going to squat. Same way. Same mechanics. Squat. Come back up. Alright, so that's two different ways of doing that. Our second exercise is going to be lateral walks. So what I'm going to do, for the lateral walks, I can leave them here. Some people like them here more. I personally like them a little bit lower. I just, for me, I feel like I feel it a little more. Let me move these out of the way. So you're going to start about at least hip width apart. Just come out, step to the side. Now, depending how much space, you may have to do this a few times, so you should feel a nice burn after a while. So you're going to do it this way. Alright, like I said, if you want, you can do them here. You can do them up here too. Same thing. I just feel like I feel more I get closer around my ankle as opposed to hip. So this is okay too. Alright, so our next exercise is going to be also for the glute, the gluteus medius. And we're gonna go on the mat and we are going to do some punch ups. So I'm going to go on my mat right here, my rug, so I'm going to put my hand right here, my hand is supporting my head, I'm stacking my hips, my heels are kind of together, make sure my heels are together like this, I'm just going to lift, push that knee kind of up and over, so I'm working this right here, this is where you're feeling these. A little harder version if you can lift. Get your feet off the, the ground. Just makes it a little harder, a little more intense. 
that's what that looks like. Always just stay right here. Now I will turn over and do the other side. I'm not gonna do that right now just to save a little time, but you know what to do. Alright, our next one is going to be bridges. So I'm gonna go back down on my mat. I'm gonna put my feet flat on the floor. My hands to my side. And all I'm gonna do is lift, lift my hips up, come up, come up until my knees, my hips, and my shoulders in one line. I am squeezing the glutes at the top, going back down to the starting position. That's how this looks. Make sure you're squeezing at the top, squeezing those glutes. And that's what that looks like. So let's move on to the next one. And that is the old fashioned. Oh, we're gonna do hamstrings. That's right, we're gonna do hamstrings now. If you have a stability ball like the ones we have in the studio, that would be great. I don't have one right now, so I'm gonna substitute it for my large medicine ball. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to lie back down. I have my, my heel firmly on the ball, hands to the side, and what I want you to do is curl your legs in, lifting your hips off the floor. So it looks like that. Lift them up, back down to the side position. So this is going to work the hamstring which is the back of your thigh. And sometimes we, we don't work those enough. A lot of people just use uh, work the quads, and that's not a good thing. You gotta keep symmetry between your quads and your hamstrings. It's very important. All right, so that's what that looks like. Let's move forward. And the next one is, now we're gonna do some upper body. So the first one is good old-fashioned push-ups. They look like this. So you're gonna be here. I'm in my high plank position. All right, my shoulders, uh, my, my hands are about shoulder width apart, you know, right underneath my shoulders. All right, my, my head is neutral. I'm pulling my belly button towards my spine. And when it comes down, push up. Now, there's a few ways to do this. You can go like this. This is more for power. We can go a little more for we can do it like this. Walk more slowly and forward top and push up quickly for power. So you get a little bit of both. So forward count, push up. Either way is good that. Now your modified version is going to be same starting except your knees. As your knees bound, your hands are still right underneath your shoulders. You're gonna push and come back up. Now make sure you're taking your hips with you, so don't do this. Make sure you're doing that, so you feel it. Let's move on to the next, and the next is going to be. We're going to do rows. For this one, I'm going to use my resistance tubing. Now if you have the, the resistance bands that are not looped, you can do it the same way, basically. I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna sit over here. Now you're gonna put them around the, kind of the middle of your foot. And what I'm gonna do is wrap them around so I have enough resistance. I'm standing upright. You don't want to hunch. Nice upright stance. I'm pulling my belly button towards my spine. I have a slight bend in my elbow. I'm going to roll, I'm going to, I'm going to squeeze my shoulder blades together, come back down. Now you want to do this nice and controlled, you don't want to do this, this is momentum. Nice and controlled, squeeze those shoulder blades, come back down. Okay, so... 
like I said, you have the resistance bands without the loop. We're doing the same way. Now right, I'm gonna show you how you can do it with dumbbell or my, my one gallon jug. So dumbbell, if you, have, if you have two, you can use two. If you only have one, uh, you can do an open stance. I prefer a staggered stance, I feel more stable. Straight back, bent over at the waist. That is neutral. Bring it up. I'm squeezing the shoulder blade. So you want to think about the shoulder lifting it, not your arm. So I'm squeezing. So if you only have one of these or one dumbbell, just switch. Just switch. Same thing. So that's how you do it. Alright, the next one. I'm gonna we're gonna do um, bicep curls, and I'm gonna do them with my resistance tubing. So how I do this, I put my feet in the, right here. I'm gonna arch my feet. Now, if I spread a little wire, I'm gonna have more resistance. If I stay here, it's gonna be less. So you have to adjust it to the resistance you, you want or need. So. Here's the form. I'm going to put my elbows right against my side and bring them up. Now, I just want to use the lower part of my body, uh, sorry, the lower part of my arm. So, I don't want to use my back. Don't want to do that. I don't want to do this because now you're using really more of your shoulders and your biceps. So, you want to be right here. All right, so you can do them slow and control. You bring them up. Roll them slowly, come up more explosively. We can do them nice and steady. Either way is fine. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is work for the triceps. So I'm going to step on this. I'm going to hold this one here. I'm going to step on it and I'm going to bring this behind me like this. I'm going to press up. Again, I'm trying to just use mostly the lower part of my arm. Uh, well, this, in this case, it's actually the upper part of my arm. All right? So here we go, looking this way, facing the camera. Let's bring it up. That's what it looks like. All right, moving forward, we're going to do the next one. We did the bicep, so we did the triceps. Okay, now we're going to do shoulder presses. I'm going to use it for my resistance tubing again. Again, I'm going to put my feet right underneath the, uh, the arch. And if I step right in like this, I'm going to have more resistance, closer than I'm going to have less. So we're going to do these going forward now. So I'm going to raise it. I'm staying in line with my shoulder. I'm not going any higher, I don't need to. All right, so I'm gonna see right here. Now you can't do them both. You can do one, and then you can do the other side. Now another variation, you can come here. So I'm going kind of a little across my body at an angle. It's gonna work your shoulders a little bit differently. So you can vary it if you want. All right, so now we're going to go laterally. So laterally, same starting position. I'm just going out to my side. Same thing in line with my shoulders. I can do them both at the same time. I can do one at a time. It doesn't really matter. But I mean, I think working one side, you tend to fatigue it a little more. Sometimes that, for me, that's how it feels. All right, so we're moving forward. So now we're gonna do the shoulder presses. Shoulder presses, same position, they got underneath, arching, arching my feet. Now I have my palms facing away from me. And then really at, at the top of my shoulder, the handle, I'm gonna press up. And I'm gonna come down the same path. Now you notice that I, I created a 90 degree angle, so that's your starting position. Bring it 
up towards the ceiling, coming back down the same path. Now again, I can do one, the other, I can do it this way, I can alternate, so you can use a little creativity all together. Alright, so those are it for today. Um, you can do reps, you can do time sets, as many, one, two, whatever you feel like doing. Uh, be a little creative. Make sure you warm up before you start, and you should cool down after you're all done. Everybody stay safe, have a good day. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Take care.